Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Sea King. Now Sea King actually is looking pretty good in um, the Isle of Armor update. So it's got access to two new moves which both are fairly good. We're going to talk about three sets today, two generic and one Dynamax. This is an update from the Isle of Armor version. I will leave a card above um, showing you the original version that I came out with that will have some slight variants on sets. But today, we are going to be talking about Seeking. The first set we've got is a Swords Dance Life Orb set. Now, this is one of my typicals I use. Swords Dance, obviously doubling your attack from 283 to 566, I think. But very, very high attack at that point. We've then got Scale Shot, which Scale Shot is a multiple hit move. But what's better about Scale Shot is it increases up the speed. Now, if you can increase up your speed by 1.5 times, you go from about 258, and I believe... That will take you to about 370, 380-ish, which will outspeed the majority of Pokemon. So that can be really handy. If you use it twice, you're going to be outspeeding, I think, everything, barring a few Scarf Pokemon. And that just makes Seeking very powerful on the attack front and very good on the speed front as well. So everything it would need to worry about is priority. Other moves I've gone for in here are Waterfall. Now, Waterfall is really effective because it has the chance to flinch other Pokemon if you don't knock them out, which can be really handy along um, with that scale shot increase in speed. And finally, Mega Horn, which just hits a variety of different Pokemon um, for damage. Now, you do have a couple of op other options like Drill Run, for example. You can go for Double Edge, um, even Facade, just in case you've got Burn. But um, with Water Veil vale, uh, as the ability, you don't want to worry about Facade because you cannot be burned. Um, at all. Now, Swift Swim is always an option. I would say that's more an option on a Dynamax set. And Lightning Rod, again, kind of an option, but you go for a physical set. I think the Water Veil preventing you from burning is definitely the best set here because your burn would obviously half your attack power. Now, EVs, I've gone for max attack and max, max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. Depending on how many scale shots you're planning on going for, I would go for. Um, different things. So if I'm going to go for one scale shot, which most of you probably will, I would go for Jolly. That just means you get that little bit extra speed there, can that speed a few different things. Um, if not, if you're going for two, or planning to go for two, you can go for the Adamant Nature. It's up to you how you go for it, but I would recommend probably going for Jolly here. If you don't want to run left Life Orb, you can run things like Leftovers if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Second set that we have is a kind of more of a supportive set. So on here we have Knock Off to get rid of any items because Pokemon become a lot less scary about items. Lightning Rod gives your team a electric type immunity. Sorry, I was kind of like coughing through that slightly um, or more hiccuping. But yeah, Lightning Rod to increase up your special attack stat. We've got Leftovers just healing yourself. Um, Lightning Rod less to do with the special attack because you're not using special attack moves. Uh, it's more to do with the fact that it gives you the electric community, which is one of your weaknesses. We have Toxic to start racking up damage on things, and also it can really put a stop to setup sweepers or minimize them because one, they won't be they won't set up as much as they originally planned to and might not be able to sweep because of that, or they will fully set up and they will just be stuck on a timer and they'll faint before they can knock out all your Pokemon. So Toxic can be really helpful. Uh, flip turn to get out of there. Obviously, flip turn is now the the new water type U-turn, and I think it's really cool. It can be really effective here, get some chip damage on things, um, as well as giving you a free switch. And as you're slow, you might be able to absorb an attack before uh, before you switch out and get a new Pokemon in in that scenario. I think that would work really well. And finally, we have Haze, just to get rid of setups, because honestly, this is kind of a Pokemon that's designed to nullify setup Pokemon, which you will commonly find one at least one setup Pokemon in a team most of the time. EVs, I've got max HP and max special defense with a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack, and four EVs in attack. Obviously boosting that flip turn and knock off ever so slightly. Um, EV, oh, sorry, I don't think I said the nature. The nature was a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack. And yeah, that's the second set. The third set is a Dynamax set. Now, I've gone for a choice band on here. You could always go for the likes of um, like Life Orb. Red card, variety of different things, possibly even like room service if you decide to go for like the zero uh, speed route. But got a variety of moves here, including waterfall, powerful water type attack, boosts to boosts um, these. Oh, sorry, activates the swift swim because it sets up the rain, so you will have double speed in this scenario. Obviously, if you're running room service, you don't want to do the swift swim route, but 
yeah, rain, swift swim, that will just be from 235 to 470, so obviously very, very fast at that point. We then have Drill Run, which returns to Max Quake, increasing up your special defense, Smart Strike, increasing up your defense, and Poison Jab, just to hit a variety of different Pokemon as well. Now, I've gone for the physical side of things here. Um, I don't think that uh, Seeking actually learns any fighting type moves um, to raise up your attack, unfortunately, but. Uh, obviously, it does get the extra kind of support moves there. If you want to support, re remove Poison Jam, put something like Sword Stance on here, that could definitely be a usable uh, move as well, just to allow you to have that Swift Swim as well as the um, increased up attack. Now, if you want to take advantage of the Swift Swim, you could always go for a Damp Rock as well. That will extend the Swift Swim from five turns to eight turns. Just bear in mind your opponent might have some way of setting up the weather, so or a Cloud9 Pokemon like Golduck, so just be aware of that. EVs go for max stack and max speed with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. As you're doubling your speed in Swift Swim, I wouldn't worry about going for the max, um, the, sorry, the jolly nature, because that would just be um, a little bit excessive on the speed that you wouldn't necessarily need, and I think the attack probably needs it ever so slightly more. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.